Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Case. I'm your host, AP, and in today's episode, we have a truly heart-wrenching story about a young girl's life who was cut too short. Oakley Carlson, a name that resonates with innocence and a promise, embodies a heart-wrenching tale of a young girl's life cut too short. Born on December 6, 2016, Oakley was a radiant force of joy, known for her infectious laughter and heartwarming smiles. She possessed a remarkable intellect, surprising everyone with her ability to form almost complete sentences at such a tender age. Dance parties were her delight, as she swayed to the rhythm of life with an untamed spirit. Oakley's former foster mother, Jamie Jo, fondly recalls the countless times Oakley twirled to the tune of Barbara Ann by the Beach Boys, leaving a trail of happiness in her wake. Oakley Carlson was not just a child. She was a beacon of love and a symbol of the beauty that exists in every fleeting moment. The pages of Oakley's life unfold with a chapter of care and nurturing. In 2017, she was found soulless in the embrace of Jamie Jo and Eric Kyles, her foster parents. From the tender age of seven months until their third year, Oakley thrived under their loving guardianship, blossoming into a vivacious soul. The Hiles family envisioned a future as adoptive parents, driven by the desire to offer Oakley the best life imaginable. However, the course of destiny took an unexpected turn in October 2019 when Oakley was returned to the care of her biological parents, Jordan Bauer and Andrew Carlson. But this transition proved to be a painful one. In December 2020, Oakley's world became a tapestry of concern and confusion. Spending Christmas with her parental grandparents, Kate and Fred Carlson, Oakley's once bright spirit dimmed. Alarmed by her pale skin, dark circles, and facial sores, Kate contacted Child Protective Services. The phone call sent ripples of discord through the family, leading to severed ties between Oakley's parents and the Carlson's grandparents. A sense of foreboding cast a shadow over the fate of a child who deserved nothing but love and security. The timeline of Oakley's life reaches a chilling crossroad on February 10th, 2021, a day etched into the annals of a harrowing mystery. However, the alarm bells of her absence remained silent for a staggering 10 months, an agonizing void that would shroud her story and darkness until November 6, 2021. A fire erupted within the confines of the Carlson family home, unraveling a series of perplexing events. Andrew Carlson, Oakley's father, reported the fire to authorities after extinguishing the flame. Curiously, he explained their failure to call the fire department by claiming the absence of their cell phone. Instead, they battled the inferno for hours, striving to quell its relentless advance from the couch to the upper floor. But the unraveling thread of truth revealed an unsettling detail. The fire had originated not from a couch, but from within the confines of a microwave. As investigators dive deeper into the chaos of that fateful day, more perplexities emerge. The principal of Oakview Elementary School, Jessica Swift, ventured into the fray, extending her hand to support the beleaguered family. A visit to their home on multiple occasions unraveled the tangled web of contradictions. Oakley, once the vibrant heart of a household, was conspicuously absent from the narrative presented by her parents. A heart-rendering encounter with Oakley's sister, who uttered the chilling words, Oakley is no more resonated with the eerie specter of an unspeakable truth. The search for Oakley cast adrift in a sea of uncertainty set the stage for a relentless pursuit of answers and justice. The heart-wrenching echoes of Oakley's disappearance reverberated through time, etching deep furrows of concern in the hearts of those who cared. On December 5th, 2021, Jessica's unflagging determination led her to officially report her apprehensions to the Grayson Harbor County Sheriff's Office. As a mandated reporter, Jessica's voice emerged as a beacon of hope and a narrative veiled in shadows. However, the ensuing welfare check took a cryptic turn. Oakley's parents, ensconced in a hotel outside the jurisdiction of Gray Harbor Sheriff's Office, cast a shroud of uncertainty by evading straightforward answers. The quest to unveil Oakley's fate unfolded against the backdrop of evasive responses and the troubling revelation that Oakley's sister was no longer under the care of her biological parents. In the ensuing days, a series of events cast a haunting pale over the Carlson's household, 
raising alarm, questioning about the circumstances surrounding Oakley's inexplicable absence. The pages of Oakley Carlson's story are punctuated by significant events that illuminate the path she traversed, each fragment serving as a puzzle piece in the enigma of her disappearance. On August 22, 2017, a chapter of stability began as Oakley found herself in the care of foster parents Eric and Jamie Jo Hiles. Her life, initially shrouded in uncertainty, was now adorned with love and nurturing arms that embraced her. However, a heart-rendering transition unfolded in November 2019 as Oakley was placed back in the custody of her biological parents, Jordan Bowers and Andrew Carlson a decision that would eventually lead her down a perilous and tragic trajectory. December 25th, 2020 marked the holiday season of dread and concern as Oakley visited her parental grandparents, Kate and Fred Carlson. An alert grandmother's intuition set the stage for alarm as Oakley's paled appearance and troubling sores sparked a call to Child Protective Services. This pivotal moment underscored the growing unease surrounding Oakley's well-being a sentiment that would eventually cascade into a cascade of events with their implications. The Chronicle of Oakley's life draws to a chilling intersection on February 10, 2020, the last known date of her existence. The smoldering embers of a fire that erupted on November 6, 2021 would cast a sinister glow on the events leading up to that daunting day. The tale of Oakley Carlson, a child whose radiant spirit was obscured by shadows of uncertainty, continues to unfold with each step forward unraveling the truth. As the haunting echoes of Oakley's absence continue to reverberate, a determined community rallied together in a relentless pursuit of answers. The Grayson Harbor County Sheriff's Office, faced with a labyrinth of uncertainties, embarked on an investigative journey to piece together the enigma surrounding Oakley's disappearance. In the throes of a heart-rendering investigation, Detective Sarah Hoffman emerged as a beacon of determination driven by an unwavering commitment to uncover the truth. The valuable concern of the community was encapsulated in a potent words of Jessica Swift, who declared, We want Uncle to know that her community is searching for her, that we haven't given up on her. This sentiment, shared by many, echoed through the streets of Oakville, underscoring the collective resolve to bring Oakley home, whether in body or in memory. The community's unwavering support, their vigils, and rallies spoke volumes about the indomitable spirit of humanity, a spirit that refused to let Oakley's story fade in the shadows. Amid the search for Oakley, a portrait of her tumultuous life began to emerge, a life marked by instability and upheaval. Questions swirled about the reasons behind Oakley's initial removal from her parents' care, casting a stark light on a past riddled with uncertainties, the tumultuous journey of her infancy marked by a brief stay in foster care, revealed the tapestry of complexities that only deepened the mystery surrounding her ultimate fate. The annals of the Carlson household, a once familiar abode of joy, metamorphed into a chilling tableau of heartbreak. As investigators peeled back the layers of this somber narrative, an unsettling truth emerged. Oakley Carlson had been sleeping in a closet beneath the stairs. This revelation cast a herring shadow on the conditions under which Oakley lived a stark contrast to the warmth and love she deserved. As the tendrils of speculation extend beyond the confines of the Carlson home, the question of motive lingered ominously in the air. Why would a mother charged with the sacred duty of nurturing and protecting her child resort to stealing another person's identity? What the tumultuous tides of desperation and desire led her to down this treacherous path? The echoes of these questions reverberated through the community, interwining with the somber resulting of a fallen leaves a pungent reminder, and a life cut short. The pages of Oakley's story, while heart-wrenching and mirrored in tragedy, are not devoid of hope. They are woven with the threads of a community's solidarity, an unwavering commitment to unveiling the truth, and a collective determination to ensure that Oakley's legacy shines as a beacon of awareness. The script of Oakley Carlson's life may have been abruptly halted, but the echoes of her spirit continue to resonate. A reminder that even in the face of darkness, the human heart has the power to kindle flames of compassion and ignite the fires of change. Oakley Carlson's name etches its mark not only in the annals of tragedy, but in the hearts of those who refuse to let her story be forgotten. The legacy of Oakley 
The bright-eyed child who twirled the melodies of life has become an enduring testament to the resilience of a community and the pursuit of justice. The Oakley movement, a solemn promise to keep Oakley's memory alive, stands as a pungent reminder of the indomitable spirit that refuses to yield to darkness. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Case. I really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed these shorter length podcasts or um, YouTube videos, whatever you would like, um, or you have a specific content, um, reach out, send something. Um, I do have an email as well as a check comments. Thanks, guys.